Hey guys, what's up? Before this video starts, I would like to let you guys know that I was working on this vid 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 video originally when Fully Cooly Episode 2 aired and my computer broke down and so I had to redo this entire video all over again, man. So enjoy! So Fully Cooly is back and that leaves one question. Can Progressive get it right? Let's find out here on Annie Chatter. Wait, hold on, I do not own anything I will be using in this video, so everything belongs to Toonami and Funimation. I'm simply using all of this uh, content for review purposes only, and I don't want Funimation coming after me, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sure on how to make this video, so I'll be breaking it down into three pieces. I mean parts. So, let's get started. Nothing really special ever happens here in this place. Young, son, me, it's how hard they are. Starting really strong, Fully Cooly Progressive became one of the most talked anime of this year. Fans and newcomers could experience Fully Cooly all over again. It's amazing seeing Fully Cooly return. It's like you leaving home and coming back from a long trip. Thanks to the pillows, the world of Fully Cooly is just like we left it. Or is it? One of the main complaints I hear online is that this version is like Fully Cooly, well, more like Diet Fully Cooly. I see that people are saying that the characters aren't as charming and that the animation is too generic and it's too fantasy like. Uh, well, let me explain. In the first season, even though the world for our characters is crazy and wild, at the same time, everything fe felt grounded and calm. As for the second season, well, it's just pure craziness. Let's break this down because I agree and disagree. You see, these new characters are a hit or miss for me. Our main girl, Hidomi, she's likable, but just barely. I feel like she's too, too dead at it. Keep in mind that I'm only on episode 2. By the way, like I said earlier, my computer broke down, so I'm on episode 6 now, or 5, I don't really know, but yeah, uh, my feelings towards her haven't really changed. And to be honest, that's her character, it even says it in the show. I'm just hoping she gets more likable as the show moves on, because the show establishes that she's like that on purpose, so I'll give it a pass. Also, I wrote this during episode 2, and she's actually more likable. Okay, so I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for this, but Haruko is a bit annoying. Yes, that's her character, but there's something about her in this season that I just don't like on. The other hand, her twin, Julia, is more likable than Haruko. She's just a better character, but I don't know, I think everything will like work out in the second season. Now for our main boy, Koide, he's my main problem. He's so unlikable to me. <laughs> Out of everybody, he's like the, the my least popular uh, character. Anyways, he's too far out there. For me, looking back on how Nauta and Mamimi were, they had a charm to them. I can easily relate to both of them, even if they were wild and kooky. But with Koide, I couldn't relate to him at all. And his friends just feel forced. I like Nauta's friends better than his friends. But don't let that hold you back, and yes, the animation might not be what some people wanted, but that's okay, I feel that the real meat of the show will be in the, in the third season of Fully Cooly. As you can see by Haruko's design, so just hang in there, the animation will get good. And really quick, uh, I wanted to talk about the animation too, while we're at it. The animation is obviously going to get better. I thought the animation they used for the first part of uh, Progressive was uh, not that great. To be honest, the pillow, the pillows carry the show. I'm not gonna lie, the pillows like do a lot of the heavy lifting for Fully Cooly Progressive. Um, judging from all the trailers I've seen of the second part of this, uh, it's gonna get better. I feel like they just uh, they had the extra budget to make another season, and they decided to do the first season that, with the extra budget. Like I said, the real, real meat of the show is gonna be in season two, so just hang in there. Also, I freaked out when I heard "Thank You, My Twilight" because I used to listen to that shit in middle school and in high school. Uh, anyways, as a newcomer, welcome to the crazy show that is uh, Fully Cooly. As a veteran, well, 
enjoy the show while it's still airing. It's kind of crazy seeing the show like this come back to be honest. Well as a conclusion, this show is a solid B for me as of now. It's missing some of the charm of the original, but it seems to be doing its own thing and that's great, that's, that's okay. This is from watching episode 1 through 4. So my opinion will change and I will make a video once the whole season is over. And tidy, tidy helps. Tidy, 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 why do you tidy itself up? <laughs> I think it will be alright in the long run. Anyways guys, well thank you for watching this video. It was fun to make. Um, my computer crashed so a lot of my notes are a bit scrambled and to be honest I had to get a new computer. You know, my three hours of hard work went straight to the trash. So it'd be really cool if you guys support this video, man, and share it. Well, this has been Annie Chatter, and I'm signing out, baby. Because I gotta go to work. Yeah, I know. It sucks. Laters.